What's up, YouTube? What's in Fan 15? As you can tell by the sizable stack there, it's been entirely too long since I did a video. Uh, it was recently my birthday, and part of uh, birthday gifts from family, specifically my cousin uh, Phil and her husband, were uh, some of these um, some retail packs, one of these uh, jumbo repackage deals. And uh, as far as these go, I, I, this is probably the best one I've ever gotten. Uh, got a, a real old school uh, Chipper Jones, Peter Gammons uh, inside the numbers. I think it's a, the '91's the rookie, but this is him in the actual Braves uniform. Uh, this really great looking Kirby Puckett from uh, Upper Deck SP '95. And then a couple other twins that'll be set aside for Micah. Um, got some, uh, let's see, Brett Myers rookie, uh, Chris Mullins, uh, Skybox Basketball, uh, Andre Dawson, 88 Diamond Kings, uh, Tony Gwynn. Uh, I know this, this card used to sell pretty well. It's Robin Young, 87 Donruss, uh, 88 Saberhagen. Uh, Craig Biggio, uh, All-Star Game from 97 Upper Deck. Uh, good variety in this stuff. A lot of really good uh, really good baseball. And then this um, classic four-sport Drew Bledsoe in a college uniform. So that's definitely a rookie. So as far as uh, these types of packs go, this, this one killed it. So thank you, Phil. And uh, she, also part of it was this 2011 Heritage. Um, just realized I never looked up to see whether or not any of these were SPs or not, but um, there's a Jose Bautista uh, regular and then a home run leaders uh, also with Joey Bats on there. And uh, got a, a Pudge when he was with the Nationals and uh, Carlos Gonzalez as well. So I'll double check that list from that year to see if any of those are SPs. But uh, thank you, Phil, very much. Uh, as well as uh, everyone who sent me birthday wishes. Um, from something positive to something just completely negative. Um, in the brief stretch where I actually had some modicum of faith in Topps uh, while I was waiting for last year's uh, debacle with the redemption replacements, I picked this uh, Clay Guida 2013 knockout auto base card up. And... Um, I called after hearing nothing from them for uh, an obnoxious amount of time, and part of that was just me still being a bit uh, ticked off at them for the previous issue. And lo and behold, they never ceased to fail. Um, I gave them a list of fighters that I would be interested in. I told the guy I spoke to on the phone that... Um, if it was going to be anything else, to contact me first, and they didn't. So, um, get one of these garbage letters and a sticker auto that is higher numbered than this card was supposed to be of a lesser fighter in Takanori Gomi that I already have. So, I have had it uh, with Tops. I, I am now not only not going to uh, purchase any redemptions because I have no faith in them or what they, stand, they, they do as far as a customer service level. I'm not going to purchase any of their products uh, even if they are advertised as redemption free because they'll find some other way to screw up like uh, damaged items or whatever else and then I'll have to deal with them uh, in that fashion, and I keep hearing more and more bad things. Their system is terrible. Um, they don't honor expired redemptions like other companies do, and uh, I think it's just deplorable. And uh, I hope they lose every single license over time, and I encourage everyone to discourage others from purchasing Topps products. Um, directly from them as you know unopened goods um, the secondary market is a necessary evil if you want to continue collecting certain things but 
as far as new product goes, I have absolutely no faith in them, their ability to fulfill a redemption even to the point of not only just getting what it states that you're supposed to get, but giving you anything whatsoever that even marginally resembles it or having any sort of personability about it. So uh, I took 18 minutes out of my day just to get to talk to a person, to have them ultimately, um, I don't want to say lie to me, but uh, not uh, follow through in the fashion commiserate with uh, the situation and my requests. So uh, it would take a complete systemic overhaul for me to ever recommend anyone to purchase a Topps product and deal with them directly ever again. And that's that's the bottom line. They have they have officially and completely lost a customer. So, uh, moving on, got uh, some MMA stuff. Uh, the recently signed UFC and soon to be facing Cowboy Donald Cerrone, uh, Eddie Alvarez, Leaf MMA Auto. And on card, uh, 2012 Finest. Uriah Faber, big sprawling signature there. Another big sprawl, sprawling signature is the uh, 2010 knockout full contact, where he's looking ripped. Uh, I got the next three cards as part of a package deal, uh, negotiated price with the seller. Uh, I got a finest 2011. Uh, uh, smaller size relic octafractor Chris Lieben 4 of 8 a Mem Auto 25 of 25 of Lieben and a 2013 Bloodlines 47 of 50 Clay Guida Octagon side auto and then another Clay Guida Auto 2010 main event auto relic I believe I have the base auto version of this, so I saw this at a reasonable price and snagged that as well. And uh, on to the cold stuff. So if you can see these two, the shoe box over here and the two row box, um, that's tag sale uh, pickups. Ignore these prices. Um, this is stuff that, I, that came out of there that's got uh, PC interest. And then um, some of, I'm going to go through this stuff. We're doing a tag sale of our own uh, a week, uh, one week from this coming weekend. But I'm going to filter some out. I'm going to try. I'm going to put the boxes out, see if I can get anything out of it, and then probably put more stuff in people's uh, you know, holiday piles and whatnot. So uh, the stuff for the PC for me, um, you know, unfortunately, I'm mislabeled as rookie. Uh, Edger and James card here, 2000. So it's not a rookie. Uh, 94 Pinnacle Draft Marshall Falk. The 1994 uh, SP Rookie. Uh, not in what I would consider gradable condition, but then again, these are really, really condition sensitive, so not a surprise there. Um, boy, I do not know what year this is. Just an old school, highly off center Jim Parker. Oh, 1960, there, it's right on the sticker. Uh, 1968, Tops Tom Matty. The unsigned version of the Johnny Ice Auto that I have, a 1988 Swell. 1971, Tops Game Card, the fumble card of Johnny Nice. And a 1964 Tops Unitas, as well as a 1972 Sports Illustrated with John Unitas on the cover. So these are uh, some excellent pickups right here, and uh, more to come, and will be distributed accordingly throughout the community. So. Uh, you're going to have your, your standard rank and file uh, hookup stuff that will go out to certain people. Probably a smaller list this year than years past, but nevertheless uh, a list. And uh, then there'll be some 
interesting extras, we'll call them, th sprinkled in along the way. So be on the lookout for that a few months from now. Moving on to uh, more modern cult stuff. Uh, I've got this year's, or uh, it's tail end of last year's, five star base of Reggie Wayne out of 208. Uh, 2010 Plates and Patches Blue Parallel 5 of 10 of Reggie Wayne. Then this was a, an oddly worded lot, but a lot nonetheless. I think it was like $9 shipped for all these. Uh, Panini Brilliance Reggie Wayne Parallel, or insert. A Reggie Wayne Totally Certified Red Jersey out of 99. A regular certified uh, mirror blue jersey, 23 out of 99. 2008 gridiron force two color patch, 15 of 50. And a museum collection Pro Bowl jumbo jersey, 12 of 50. So those are excellent. Nice little lots pickup right there. Uh, moving on, we have the Panini uh, Father's Day uh, mem card, oversized mem card of Andrew Luck. Got a uh, mini Dante Moncrief on card auto, 125 of 150. Reggie Wayne National Treasures Century Patch out of 50. Reggie Wayne Patch Auto from 5 Star, 25 out of 40. And now uh, the one of ones, uh, Marvin Harrison, 2007 Tops Total Black Plate. A 2014 Tops. Uh, Robert Mathis magenta plate. Uh, this card was a steal. I can't believe the guy accepted it, and I'm very happy that he did. Uh, 2013 platinum uh, cyan on plate rookie auto of Bjorn Warner, who's starting to show flashes. He needs to wrap up his tackles a little bit better, but he can get out in space and get in front of dudes, so that's, uh, that's, that's big. And uh, 2014 Bowman uh, Green Sparkle, one of one of T.Y. Hilton. The bubble sparkle deal. Took a run at the Reggie Wayne, did not win that one, but uh, did manage to get the T.Y. Hilton. And on to some Huddy stuff. We've got um, the Silver Ice Unnumbered Parallel from 2014 Bowman. Got a uh, 2011 Triple Threads uh, Jersey Auto, 11 of 18. Then these two are from the same seller, and um, there's a long convoluted story behind what took place to actually get these things both here, but uh, they, they made it here, so... Uh, the Ultimate Hurlers collection from 2005 Ultimate. We've got the Jersey Auto 12 of 20. And then the Patch Auto 3 of 10. So that was, uh, as I said, that was a bit of an adventure <laughs> to get those, and I'll just leave it at that. Um, this was one of those, uh, you really got to make sure you, you check all the different variations on a PC guy for me to find this. Uh, 2005 Upper Deck Sweet Swap Majestic Materials Quad, uh, number 12 of 25, Andrew Jones, Chipper Jones, John Smoltz, and Huddy, BGS graded 9, including a 10 centering. So there's that. And then one of uh, Huddy's earliest autographs regarded as, you know, since there wasn't a true 1999 auto, the, the rookie auto as it were, uh, got 
2000 SPX VGS 8.5 with a 10 auto. Uh, the surface, ding this one out of being a 9. Uh, 1184 out of 1500. And I'm liking what I'm seeing with, with more people posting these graded uh, returns and videos and things like that. Um, uh, to me, it, it's not just for rookie cards. Uh, to me, grading it can be, I mean, numbered inserts, uh, pretty much anything other than, than base. And, and even some people go the base route for some of the real star cards to try to... Uh, you know, elevate them. I, I don't know that you're going to necessarily get the return necessary uh, to, to justify those kind of uh, purchases and, and expenditures for the the grading process. But um, you know, it's it means probably long run that you're going to own a few less cards, but the ones that you do get. Um, even for your own collection can be really uh, elevated just just going through the grading process. So uh, if if you guys see these uh, uh, these sort of group submissions, uh, look through your stuff and 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 just look for things that you think are, are going to get high grades, even if they're not necessarily that big marquee card. Because uh, I mean, it can, as I said, it can exponentially increase the uh, the value. Um, So I did a deal with a guy for, for two cards on eBay. Uh, the, the eBay user ID is 11MVP23. He's got a lot of really nice stuff up here. Um, a lot of Atlanta stuff, a lot of Falcons and Braves stuff. And I know I've got a lot of followers who are Falcons and Braves fans. Uh, also some, some Michael Vick stuff in here. Um, there's a, 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 a Ken Griffey Jr. Auto to 15. From uh, from one of the Penny America's pastime sets, so uh, definitely go check this guy out on eBay. Uh, he also has a, a, a nice autographed Adrian Peterson rookie. Uh, he does accept offers. He'll, he'll negotiate with you uh, to what's to what's fair. You know, fair market. We, we got down to a, a good price for the both of us. So it's 11 MVP 23 is the seller. And the two items that I purchased were uh, this this uh, sweet spot 2005 majestic materials uh, patch, the copper parallel 30 of 35, as you can see, you shipped that in a magnetic, and then uh, this triple threads uh, 2011 auto jersey uh, gold parallel numbered seven of nine. So again, uh, 11 MVP 23. Link is in the description box. Jo go check out his stuff. As I said, feel free to make offers and uh, work with him on uh, on getting some deals done. Uh, next up is uh, at DAK 316, or YouTube is DAK1. David, uh, sorry for the delay on posting this. I as I said, I just kind of let stuff stack up on the desk, and that's a, a bad habit. So. Um, there's there's this and I'm trying to figure out what this envelope deal is so if you can let me know sorry for and then I got nothing so let me know what that is please uh, Tom thanks for being a cool mofo blessings to you and yours DK so definitely some good uh, YouTube uh, PC right there uh, in here was a, a base Ariani, a Cerrone Jumbo out of Finest 2012, and then out of Finest 2013, the Blue Parallel uh, Matte, which is clearly used. There's a number of spots on here, uh, 44 of 188. So he knows that I'm a, a Cowboy Cerrone collector, and he hooked it up. So I appreciate that. David, very kind of you, and uh, go check him out. And we'll put his link in the description box. And David, I, you know, this doesn't look like your handwriting. So if you have any idea what that says, 
almost looks like Cowboy's signature. I don't know if it's like, sorry for the delay, like he was going to do like a TTM for you and, and this was the re on the return envelope or something. But yeah, let me know what that is before I just, you know, chuck it. <laughs> so uh, again, thank you, David. Uh, thank you to the uh, the eBay seller, 11MVP23, and thanks to my cousin Phil for the great birthday cards, uh, card and cards, and yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, YouTube, peace.